Uh, we'll start off with carbon dioxide in the next slide. And I just follow the same rules. So for everything, whenever I'm drawing a Lewis structure, if I follow these same rules, you'll see how we need to figure out if we have to do multiple bonds, a double bond, or a triple bond. So again, we add it up. We've got carbon. We've got oxygen. I've got two oxygens. Oxygen is right over here. It's got six valence electrons, so I get 12 electrons from oxygen. Carbon is right here in the one, two, three, four. So it's got four. I'm going to move that four over here just to make it easy. When I add this up, I've got 16 electrons to build this with. Now, I'm going to get rid of this just so I have a little more room now to draw this out. So I put my carbon in the middle because of the electronegativity of carbon compared to oxygen. And I've got to bond that to my oxygen. I'll just put them like this. I think it's easiest to start just putting them off to the side. And if we need to move them around later, we can do that. I've used two, four electrons, and I have 16 total I get to use. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I've used up all my electrons. Um, right here, I built my skeleton structure. I used up all my electrons. I do not have a formal charge, so I don't need to do that. Um, resonance structures, not sure about that one yet. Go ahead and check my answer. All of them should have eight electrons around the outside edge. This oxygen has two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This oxygen has two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This carbon has two, four. So I must not be done because this carbon is not happy. Now, sometimes people try to add more electrons, but you can't. You only have 16 electrons to build this whole thing. And this is where double bonds come in. So because carbon does not have enough around it, it's going to call up this oxygen. It's going to say, all right, we're going to need to share those two. So that oxygen will move those electrons down there. Of course, that's hypothetical move. And <clears throat> it'll look like this. Now we've got a double bond on that side. When we go to add them up, though, we still only have two, four, six around the carbon. So we need to look at the other side. This oxygen can share those two electrons in a double bond. And now... If we count them up, this oxygen has 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This oxygen has 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Carbon has 2, 4, 6, 8. Let me redraw this out to show you how it really looks. We've got carbon with a double bond and a double bond to oxygen. Oxygen has its two lone pairs over here, and this oxygen has its two lone pairs over here. So that's what we should see when we have carbon dioxide.